How's it going guys? So, update 7 for Forza Motorsport has just been announced. Let's go through in this video everything you need to know about the entire 7th update for Forza Motorsport. Let's jump straight to it. So, Forza Motorsport update 7 rolls out for download starting on Monday, April the 8th. 10 a.m. PT, 5 p.m. UTC, that's when this update is available to download, which I'm pretty sure is the same day this video comes out. So, update 7 is available right now on all platforms. Now, these spotlight cars, the new career, the featured multiplayer, all the usual stuff starts on Wednesday so that's a couple of days away and what's interesting is that they do note that update 7 will be live in the game for five weeks before update 8 is released rather than four weeks and a little bit about update 8 it will not include a track the next track is scheduled for update 9 we'll touch on that more towards the end of the video but yeah this is a five week long update now we're going to quickly touch on the new features and new changes to start with update 7 will actually reduce the installation footprint of Forza Motorsport by between 15 and 20% decreasing its entire file size by 25% now because of this the update will be slightly larger than usual at 15 gigabytes but because of that we will then get a smaller overall game save size of Forza Motorsport so that's pretty good it should mean that once you update to update 7 the entire game will be smaller even though you've had an update they are also introducing changes to Forza race regulations and proximity arrows as well as fixes to multiplayer the delivery editor and the Le Mans track. Now the Forza Race Regulations is a very interesting one. That was one of three major topics they brought up a couple of months ago along with the AI and the car upgrade system. They've changed the upgrade system. Now it seems that they're tackling the Forza Race Regulations a bit more seriously now. There's a few notable fixes on screen right here now. They have added a new PC audio setting. Proximity arrows are now enabled by default in multiplayer and they now angle themselves based on car world position relative to the player car and camera rather than screen space projection. This will provide more accurate arrow directions, especially in non-chase camera views. And I think over on the suggestions hub, a proximity radar is the number one most voted feature for motorsport. And I think this falls into the same category. So it's good to see that they're thinking in that kind of world. They've added new uniform scale and non-uniform stretch tools to replace size. These can be applied to individual decals or layer groups over on the livery editor and a few other bits and bobs as well. Now let's get on to exciting stuff the new track and the new cars now the new track is brands hatch located a short drive from london brands hatch is widely considered one of the most iconic sporting venues in europe and we can see here that we're also promised a couple of layouts as well got a bit of gameplay of brands hatch on screen right now the grand prix layout features three high speed corners called hawthorns westfield and sheen curve which challenge drivers to be millimeter accurate when choosing their turn in points on this relatively narrow circuit Meanwhile, the Indy layout is a short 1.2 mile thrill ride, which pairs perfectly with slower cars and grassroots events. Car Pass, it is the end of Car Pass. We are onto the final three cars, and they are, for these following three weeks, the 2019 Ginetta G55 GT4, the 1970 Matra Sinca number 146, Equipe Matra Sinca MS650 Tour de France. What a car name that is. And the 2016 Ligure number 11 euro international gsp3 i'm gonna guess that that's how you pronounce that those are the three car pass cars coming in the next over the next three weeks and that is the end of car pass it does bring up a couple of weird questions about the car pass which we'll touch on right at the end a certain car that we're all expecting has not appeared yet now what have we got next now usually we would get four new spotlight cars which would all be new to forza now there are spotlight cars but none of them are new there are some more new cars in this update but they're not the spotlight cars so let's have a look at the new career tour as one of the new cars is a reward for this it's called the retro races tour we can see what the four spotlight cars actually are we've got the 1981 ford zack speed racing capri turbo the 1969 lola simon is specialty 163 the 1967 brabham BT24 and the 1988 Jaguar Racing XJR9. Those are the four spotlight cars. And as you can see, if you complete this tour, you will get the 1977 Renault Equipe Renault Elf RS01. 
one. That is a new car. That is the fourth new car of this month so far. You actually have until May the 29th to complete these. So that's almost two months from now. That's quite a while. Now, because of the update being available for quite a while, one week longer than usual, there is a fifth spotlight car, the 1975 BMW number 25 Motorsport 3.0 CSL. It doesn't have anything allocated to it in the career series, but it will have spotlight events in multiplayer and rivals. The Open Class Tour is a 1960s celebration. As expected, the Open Class Tour celebrates 1960s as drive tower parents race wheel to wheel behind the iconic cars that build up through E, D, C and B classes. Now, if you complete all of these, you'll get the next new car, the 1964 Brabham BT-8. You lead it towards yet another victory at Brands Hatch in the reward showcase. Those are the new tours, the new career, and I'm pretty sure that is it for the new cars. That means that there are only five total new cars in this update, three of which are in the car pass. It is what it is, I suppose. Hopefully Hopefully we can expect a large update 8 and update 9 as the months come. Featured multiplayer, what have we got here? You can see all of the appropriate details. The spec series introduces a new event available during the second week, the BMW M Pro Car Spec Series. Really cool. All of the information about all of these spec series can be seen on screen along with the appropriate dates that they are applied. Featured rivals for update 7. Again, all of the information about that. We've got one per spotlight car. We then have a VIP one for VIP members and then another one sp specifically for the featured track. Again, that seems to be the rule that they follow. Bugs and fixes. We had a look at some of the bugs and fixes at the beginning of the video, but here is a slight extension to that. There will be more than this. We'll cover that in the full change log video. But those are the ones that they have noted. Pause if you want to read through them. So that is the full update seven. I'm sure it's going to leave quite a few people upset if I'm straight honest from the back just from how many new cars there wasn't and um, the new track is always good the little bit of a break between update 8 might cause a bit of negativity but we can't have awesome updates every single time now as i spoke about the car pass um, i'm sure you're aware now that the car pass was leaked a few months ago these are all the cars that were leaked as of now they are all in the game apart from one the mcmurtry spearling now we're definitely left questions now. Now the car pass is 100% complete. Where on earth is the McMurtry? Are we getting it? Has it been cancelled? Has it been delayed? Was it supposed to be a paid car in the car pass, but now it's coming free? Are we going to have to pay for it in another way? Is it coming at all? We don't know. It's definitely one to talk about though, as that car is would be a great addition to Forza Motorsport. It's so different to any other car that exists. Um, it's got the it's got the world record at the Goodwood Festival of Speed Hill Climb. It's a car that a lot of people are excited for and it's a bit of a shame not to see it. We've got no clues about Update 8 other than the fact that it doesn't come with a track. There are a lot of tracks missing. We did say a couple of months ago that perhaps they're going to change to a routine of giving us a track every two months rather than every month. I think every month is a bit, might be a bit too difficult to keep up with. There are still a lot of tracks missing. We've got Prague, Sabring, Bathurst, Road Atlanta, Long Beach, Monza, Imola, top gear test track there are quite a few tracks missing i'm sure we're going to get them all it might just be every couple of months rather than every month i'm sure we're at eight nine we'll have a good one that is it for update seven guys let me know what you think in the comment section below and if you're excited or not